four years. Four years we've been waiting to review this daggone film. I'm the Slasher Movie Reviewer, and it's finally time to review this mother beeping. Beeping Avengers have finally arrived. This film we have been ex that it's that film that we have been waiting for for like four years. They've been teasing us and teasing us and teasing us and make us sit through the credits each year so we can get a glimpse of what's next to come. And finally, all that movie paid off. And does the film simply live up to the hype? It does more than that. It it sells it and it makes this one of a rare summer blockbuster extravaganza. I'm not going to get into the plot because the plot is pretty lengthy and hard to explain without and it just it for me it would be a 15 minute long video. Uh so I'm not going to get into the plot but basically Loki is our main bad guy and he basically wants domination. He wants to rule and he is going to do whatever he can in that in his power to rule. So we've got Samuel Jacklin as Nick Fury aka shield here to round up all the can candidates to fit the avengers initiative and so therefore they can build this team so they can bring loki down and make a team that when no one else can they can fight the battles hearing we were all fearing that you know too much of a good thing is a bad thing and that having all this epic, all everybody in this film, that not everybody was going to get enough screen time, that one hero would be overshined by the other hero, and Josh Whedon did a really good job at giving each superhero plenty of screen time, giving them plenty of jokes, one of them being by far the best one, and that involved Hulk confronting Loki in an epic battle showdown that literally was insane it is by far the best sequence of my it's by far the best sequence in this film and everyone in the theater was just like eating it up they were eating up that sequence and then you have iron man who is always on point with every joke that he has and then you've got captain america who is trying to still grasp reality of everything of how his world has completely changed. Thor over here who's trying to deal with his brother trying to rule everything. And then you've got Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow who has got this sort of connection with Hawkeye that I thought was really neat. And I mean, everything, you, everybody's character development is there, and it's building, and it's making every, and they all come together. They all have strengths and weaknesses. I like how we get to learn more of Black, Black Widow that we did it in Iron Man 2. In Iron Man 2, she was not as developed as much as you wish she was, but in this film, she is truly developed, and she truly is her own character, and you can see why she's part of S.H.I.E.L.D., you can see why she's out to do good, and why she's here to make a change, and why she's also connected to Hawkeye in a way that she is. Um, holy crap, Josh Whedon, how he d portrays and directs the action is so clear. Um, no disrespect to the Hunger Games, but you can actually see what's going on in all the mist and the action. I mean, the action is so clear and crisp, you know exactly what's going on, and it's just, it's like the camera stays on it. I mean, Michael Bay could take a really, really good tip from Josh Whedon and how he decided to use the same camera and zoom in and stay with it and just go with this machine, and Michael Bay would have set up 15 different cameras and just took in the best shots of each of them, and it would have been a, uh, a whiplash sequence of... Transformers 2. Um, I'm going to rate this film right now. It's by no surprise that this movie gets a perfect score. It's the first film of 2012 to earn the perfect score of 5 out of 5 for me. I hope to see y'all soon with more reviews. And until next time, I'm the Slash Movie Reviewer, and you guys have just been slashed.